brown top millet. It's a little bit different than some of the other millets. Uh, used more widely in the south, but we've seen really good success with it as we move it north as well. It's got some unique characteristics that set it apart from the other millets and give each one of these kind of a niche of where you'd use it. Tell us uh, where you like using brown top millet, Dale. Everywhere. <laughs> okay. it, it just seems to be so versatile. Now, obviously, I mean, even if you compare it to the millets around it, it doesn't have the top end yield potential. It's fairly early maturing. Uh, it is used a lot in the wildlife industry, the, uh, you know, doves, a lot of upland game birds really like the seed. But what I like about brown top millet is that is just how well it keeps its quality after maturity. Uh, when we put this in winter stockpile mixes, this is one of the very first plants that animals will go and eat. It just seems to keep its quality. Even after it heads out, animals still really like this plant. And that, that's a little different because some of these other millets lose their forage quality and forage value after they mature, after they freeze out. So this is by far the best millet for a stockpile mix. Yeah, I would agree. That, and that's, I, I put it in, I try to put it in every winter stockpile mix, every mix of summer annuals for winter yeah. stockpile grazing, I like to put in brown top. And you can see it's kind of lodging here a little bit. So again, that's why we wouldn't want to see it necessarily by itself. But when this is in a mix and with some taller plants, it's not gonna go down like this. Yeah, it, it's, it's a great understory plant for winter stockpile grazing.